Good morning. We are ready for story time. My friend June is here with us this morning. She's coming over and I'm going to see if I can fix my camera this morning. There she is. And look who she has. She has the very hungry caterpillar. We're so glad June and the caterpillar are with us today. Are you guys ready to start checking out our book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl? You ready? Okay, June, can you come right over here so they can see you? Hey, the caterpillar just put me right in the eye. Oh my goodness, the caterpillar poked June in the eye. <laughs> Good morning, Levi. Good morning, Jade. Good morning, Leela. Good morning, Ella. Good morning, Sonoma. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Lisey. Good morning, Anthony. And good morning, Cameron. I see Cameron's name on our screen, so hopefully Cameron's watching. I can't read it all, but I'm thinking there are some of our other friends are on there too. Miss Tanya's on there. Hi, good morning, Miss Tanya. Are you ready? All right. The very hungry caterpillar. caterpillar. Let's see what that caterpillar does. While I'm reading this part, June, will you pull out our pictures and put them right there for me? So we'll be ready, because we're fixing to need our moon. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's our white egg on the leaf. There's our moon, and June's gonna put up our moon. Can you put up our moon? Nice job, there's our moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Can you find our sun, June? Where's our sun? There's our moon. There's our caterpillar. Now we need our sun. Wait, wait, we see. Oh. There he is. There's our sun. Good job. Look, there's our little tiny caterpillar. He started to look for some food. I wonder what he's gonna eat. Do you remember? On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still yeah. hungry. <laughs> Can you find our apple? Okay, June put up our apple. How many apples do we have? One. One, good job. Are you counting, Cal Lisey? Are you counting, Cameron? We have one apple. What's, it, what's this, Cameron? It's an apple. Good job. Okay. And keep burping. Yeah, you, do, you keep burping. Oh my goodness. It's too hot. <laughs> it's cold outside. It is a little cold outside. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Two. Can you find two pears, June? One, two. Find the pears. Can you find them? One, two. Good. Can you put them up there for us? Two pears. He ate through two pears. You see that little hole right there? That's where he ate through the pears. That's right. It's an apple. Thank you, Cameron. I see that you knew it was an apple. Now, what are these? Do you know what these are? These are not. There's our apple. And these are pears. And now, how many do we have? One, two. Good. Two pears. But he ate through two pears and he was still what? Hungry. Hungry. Oh my goodness. What? That silly caterpillar was still hungry. Let's see. On Wednesday, what? he ate through three what? Plums. He ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. hungry. Can you put up our three plums? I think they're under the caterpillar. The one? Three plums. Good, Cameron, I see where mom put you said pears. Awesome. All right, there's our three pears. Can you see them? One, 
two, three. Is everybody counting with me? One, two, three. three. Good job. Now, on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still yeah. hungry. Hungry. That is a very hungry caterpillar. All right, we need four strawberries. One, two, three, four. Nice job. Thank you, June. High five. That was an awesome job. Four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. How many oranges? Oh, Miss Pam's got to turn her book. Five. Thank you for counting, Cameron. I see Mom's picture number three up there. You're doing a great job. Now we have five oranges. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Can you find our five oranges, June, and put them on the board for us? Five oranges. Wow, that's a lot of oranges. And do you see all the little holes? That's where the caterpillar ate through the food. But he was still hungry. How could that caterpillar still be hungry after he ate all that food? What? Good, we almost have our five up. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one piece of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one piece of watermelon. Let's count and see how many things that is. You ready? One, one two, three, four, five, six. Good. Are you counting at home? Seven, eight, nine, ten things. He ate ten things this morning. That is a lot of things. And he, that night, he had a tummy ache. His stomach hurt. Because I think he had eaten too much, too many things. Can you put that picture up for us? This is the candy one. That is the candy one. That is all the sweet things that our friend, the caterpillar, ate. And after he ate all those things, his tummy hurt. Okay, you ready? On the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Oh, we're so glad he felt better, aren't we, June? Can you put the leaf up there? Good, there's our green leaf. What color is it, guys? Yuli! Green. Good job. Are you, is all our friends at home saying it too? Cameron's watching. I hope Lisey, Lisey, do you know what color it is? Sonoma, what color is it? Green. Ella, what color is it? Green. Good job. Leela, what color is it? Green. Levi, what color is it? Green. And Jade, what color is that thing? Green. Anthony, what color? Green, good job. We got a sticky on the bottom of um, Junie Bug's foot. Okay, let's see what happened next. Ooh. Now, he wasn't a little tiny caterpillar anymore. He was now a big, fat caterpillar. See our big, fat caterpillar? Oh my goodness, he's grown so much because he's eaten so many things. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. That's a long time. We've had to stay inside for a long time too. 
Good job. Then he nibbled a hole through that cocoon at the end and he pushed his way out and he became a beautiful butterfly. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look, June has one. June, can you put up our butterfly? Awesome. And you remember we have our very soft caterpillar, but when he came out of the cocoon, he turned into a butterfly. Give me just a minute and we'll let him transform into a butterfly and June can hold him up with all the pretty colors and you can see him. Or her, it could be a girl butterfly, not sure. Okay, show him our pretty butterfly. Oh, look how pretty that butterfly is. Can you come a little closer? Good, can you see all the colors? We see purple and green and blue. What other colors do you see, June? I see... What color is his tummy? Oh, I see that color, that color. Orange and pink and, and yellow. That color and that color and that color, that color. There's a lot of colors. Hold it up for our friends to see one more time. Look at our beautiful caterpillar. I mean, our cute, hungry, very hungry caterpillar is now a beautiful butterfly. Wonderful. You guys did so good. And, and, and he's got and some dots. Mm -hmm. He's got some little like polka dots. Can you see it on there? He's got a few polka dots on the side. Okay, let's see if we can do something really fun today. Can I get all the strawberries. Can we put all the strawberries right here? Where are the strawberries, June? We're gonna let our friends at home count those strawberries. All right, pull them over here, and let's stick them over here on this one. One, two, all right. Cameron's been counting for us. I hope some of our other friends are counting too. You ready? We have this many Strawberries. Wait, Can you tell me how many? You can just go. Mm -hmm. Let's count them. Right. If you said there were four strawberries, you were right. Good job. Good counting. Let's count those oranges. Okay, you ready? How many oranges do we have? Let's touch them and count them. How many oranges did you see? I see that, um, that Cameron said four for our strawberries. Awesome job. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm trying to read the screen from here. How many oranges did we have? There are five. If you counted five, you did a great job. Let's see, how many caterpillars do we have? Good job, Cameron. One, we just have one caterpillar. How many plums do we have? Whoops, Miss Pam can't get the plum off. Okay, let's count those plums. You ready? Khalees, did you count those with me? Levi, were you counting? Leela, did you count too? Cameron's counting at home. I hope you guys are too. How about Anthony? Anthony, did you count? How about Sonoma? Ella and Tori. Good job. I know Cameron's counting at home. I'm so proud of you, Cameron, for counting. Good counting, guys. There are three plums. If you said three, you were right. Good job. Guys, you've been doing an excellent job. We sure do miss seeing you every day at school, 
but we're glad that you're getting on here and doing story time and center time and, and emotions time and move in time and craft time with Miss Tanya. If you haven't got your craft packet yet and would like to get it, just text Miss Pam, get your moms to text Miss Pam or send me a Facebook message and I'll run it by your house and leave it at your doorstop. Um, we are so glad you're here today. We have our time with Miss Melanie at nine and then after that at 9.45 we have our Zoom meeting. So if you're home and mommies and daddies are there with you, get on Zoom and come say hi to us. We'd love to see you. Okay, bye guys. See you at circle time.